What is going on guys and girls? This is your boy Shindy and we're doing some uh Underwood tournament. Some deathmatch man. It was great to actually try to get a deathmatch game in. It's been a while since I played it. You know, so I felt good to see it again. I was like, yes, deathmatch. Like it's been a while since we've seen deathmatch, right? Alright, seeing everything else, me playing elimination a lot, and stuff like that, trying to get you know, try to learn the elimination. Got all about, you know, where I started, man. Got into CTF, got into Blitz. But deathmatch is where, you know, where everything happened, you know? But anyways, uh, this game was actually already recorded. For some reason, the file did not, it's not coming up. So I end up having to uh, do this over and just get the video out, but, um, it was a good deathmatch game, and I felt like I want you guys to enjoy it, guys and girls to enjoy it as well with me. So. I would say playing elimination, coming over to the deathmatch. Um, what what I got really good with was probably the shot combo. I got so much better with shock rifle because of uh, elimination. So. That helped out a lot. This map, you know, I play this map on Elimination. I play it on um, CTF. But I never, this is the first time, I never play this on Deathmatch. So, it kind of throws me off on what spawns where. So, I don't know where any of the items are spawning. So, as you're going to see how I move around the map how I don't know like where certain things are but I'm figuring it out and then you know start playing a little bit smart later on what to do honestly like when I was playing like deathmatch against some of these players and like now that I'm playing I feel like I have changed uh, the game slightly you know nowadays don't know how it was back then but I think now on what's going on with all the players that's around, uh, I think there are some things that have changed what players are doing now. They added into their own tactics. And good thing, like, even a, a, a really good player that I know of, um, he also felt like he learned a lot of what I do um, versus what he did. And he's been on here for years. So he was like, you know what, I see what you're doing. The only thing is, I use my own tactic. I don't, I don't really mimic or um, copy and paste what other people do and that's how I am in every game I just always have my own style and I feel more comfortable with my style once I get it down pack it takes time for me to actually get it going and master it but once I get my style going man it just becomes like unique very different so and that's pretty much what's going on here you know I have a different style of what I do now as far as the weapon changing goes um, that's something where it happens in like every game um, of Unreal Tournament. I think this one is a little different on the weapon change. You know, I get in certain situations, I like to pull out certain weapons to, for my advantage. I actually started seeing more players do that um, exact combination of mines in certain situations. But, you know, certain players that I've been playing with a lot. But as far as like the other weapons, I think there were like still is like uh, a few main weapons that everyone like to use but I think with multiple weapons that have everything have the the pulse rifle the um, the rocket launcher and the chain gun is very rare weapons that I've seen a lot since I got onto this game and playing with good players I haven't really seen a lot of players use that and I think that's what uh, I was throwing people off because I was using like multiple weapons and it was just catching them off guard now that, you know, a few months went by and playing with good players, I do see that is added to some people's um, play style, you know. So, not saying that they weren't doing it before. I felt like I haven't seen it that much, and I felt like it wasn't abusing it as much. But now that I see, like, it happens all the time now when I play against, like, uh, decent players. Like, I see them always make that weapon change um, when they get in a certain situation. And the weapon change looks just like the ones I'm using. 
like it, if you see how he used like the uh, pulse rifle right there, primary. Like when I played against players before, I ra if that's the only weapon he had, of course that's what he's gonna use. But I used to not really see the pulse rifle that often. It was a weapon that I love, but I didn't see it that often on here. It was like when people spawn, it, it kind of seems like in deathmatch they went straight for what they know was really good or what they were good at and what they love. But um, and even a CTF. When I was playing CTF, I really did not see the pulse rifle used um, at all, you know. But now I see it's using like a lot now. Pulse rifle is always being used. I see like other weapons are being used. Again, that's not speaking for everybody, and also that's not speaking for uh, anybody back in the day who mastered this game. This is only speaking of those uh, who are decent players who are actually who I actually have seen. Um, adapt that style what I was doing and think it's a good idea to add it to their own play style but um, there's nothing wrong with it you know everybody is playing to get better and you learn off you know some people learn off each other you know other players to perfect their craft so happens man it happens but that's a good thing it's a good thing on my part I say just adapt that 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 quake play style onto Unreal Tournament with the weapon change. But even in Quake, like you don't I don't use all the weapons. You know, it's like on Unreal Tournament I use like every single weapon that's in my like inventory. Like every single weapon that I picked up is gonna be used. You know, and that's that's what makes it different. Um, you know what I do and what other players are doing. I didn't, I wasn't seeing that when I first got on here, but that's what I was working on. That's my craft. That's why I felt like, hey, I want to work on this, and this is what I want to get better at: multiple weapons, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And that's what I did. This is making like little goals here and there. So the only game type that I haven't really played a whole lot on this is, um, I mean, there's a lot of other game types that no one plays at all that I didn't really uh, get into. But the only one I noticed that a few people uh, still plays is like 1v1s. Now, I don't play any 1v1s, you know. Unless, like, you know, anything random will come up. But that's another game type where I was saying I would like to master. But we just got news. Uh, I think it was today. I'm not sure. Uh, somebody was talking. I don't know if they are saying at GDQ or whatever that they were at. But um, they're saying that Unreal Tournament is not going to be going forward with it. That this game is done. Pretty much they're not going to do any more gameplays of this. I mean, not gameplay, excuse me. Correction. They're not going to work on the game no more. So there's not going to get a staff team or anyone to say, hey, you know what? Let's make sure this Unreal Tournament comes out great. Let's, let's finish it and let's give a full release of this game. That is probably not going to happen from what, uh, what I've been told. Not 100% if that's true, but I kind of believed it when I heard it, so... And that sucks. If they're going to leave what's right here the way it is. And then uh, maybe come back later. You know, maybe come back later when when graphics become like a big thing. Because this game definitely can, can be huge if uh, the graphics is there. And the graphics were there before. Like if you watch the history of the videos, you're like, oh shoot, this game looks good in 4K. But think about it. If Unreal Engine has the power to release this game in 8K when the time comes it's all about trying to get it to run smooth in 8k but they can do that they can actually get the game to grow and get somewhere with some powerful graphics but i know graphics is not everything for uh arena shooter because people still like to play on very low settings to get the faster frame rate faster movement stuff like that but if they release a really good single player um and like a like a horde 
a battle royal, something like that. I think uh, this game definitely have potential. Definitely have potential to get to get back on track and get somewhere because it'll be arena. It'll be the first arena shooter with the battle royal, um, you know, style. So I think that will work. I set that guy up big time. I shot the rockets to follow him, and then as he knew the rockets was coming to his right, I played that shock rifle to go in the middle. Now, you see how my shock rifle is so, like, crisp and, and so much better? Um, you know, I worked a lot on it inside of Elimination. Still got a lot of work. Check this out. No look rockets. Oh, and jeez. That's something where I always do, like the no look rockets. I actually been seeing that a lot lately as well. And that's something by like, like almost, I don't know, like so many people have been growing where the no look rockets, no one expect to turn that corner and get hit by it. But now I've been seeing that a lot. And there's probably a few players that already been doing that. But there's not a lot of players that have been doing that. Now I'm seeing like almost every player add that to their style. So that's another thing I've been seeing. That was, felt like that was a setup. <laughs> Yeah, man, my dominating spree just went down the hole. The guys are, like, aiming at me. I mean, of course I am number one in this deathmatch game, but not only that... It happens a lot, man. I get people that, in some elimination game, there's one elimination game today. There's one guy that skipped, I think it was four guys. I mean, it's crazy. He skipped four guys just to try to kill me. Like, nowadays, I should be the one that disguised my name, you know? I've been around doing, I'm the OG here, man. Doing this for a very long time. Big time OG compared to many others out there. Played in bigger titles than many others out there. So, but overall, man, we all here to have fun nowadays. You know, whole different ball game. I'm playing with old man moves, you know. Honestly, if anyone played me in my prime when I was in my 20s, and yeah, I'm not in my 20s, but anybody played me in my 20s, um, my reflexes was like unreal. So like, and, and my reaction time, everything was so much faster. This time I sit back and I look and I'm like, wow, man, I, like, I, my, my reflex is not as fast as I want it to be, and I can see that, you know, and I say that to myself sometimes when I play. Wait, what just happened there? My screen went into like a zoom mode. Weird. Like some type of glitch. Look at my character with the little crown. Oh uh, man, I caught him perfectly with that. about to be over that sick guy got an extremely high ping so 
And he still had he didn't have that much on the uh negative as far as like you know, so he still was hanging in there. Still ended up putting at least death, but it felt good playing that death match again. I definitely want to share this game to you guys. Um you know, it was, it was fun. You know, there's nothing you could take from the players I played against. They're all great players. But overall, I enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Shindy. Peace out.